Hi and welcome to the tutorial on how to install JMARS on your Windows PC. So the first thing you're going to do is go to our website at jmars.mars.asu.edu. The next thing you're going to do is come to this login area. If you don't have an account already, you'll need to create a new account. This is how you log in to JMARS. If you already have one, then you can skip that step. Then you're going to scroll down a little to this area called JMARS Public Downloads. Here you'll see two different platforms. The, the top one is JMARS, our newest edition. It actually has multiple bodies inside it that you can switch to. For example, you can switch from Mars to Mercury to Earth to Venus or to a few of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons. If you want to download just J-Earth, you can do that also. After you decide which one you'd like to download, you're going to click on the Windows that your computer runs on. So mine's a 64, so I'm going to click Windows 64. And then it's going to download. When it's done downloading, you're going to click it. And you're going to press Run. You're going to give it a couple minutes to download. And your first window is going to welcome you to the setup. Press Next. This next window is asking you where you want to put your JMARS folder. So I like to leave mine in default, so I'm going to press Next. Then it asks you if you want JMARS in your startup menu, and I do, so I'm going to press Next. The next box is going to ask you if you want to create a file association with any session files. So basically what this means is when you save a session from JMARS, you can just double click that session file and it'll open JMARS from that file. Otherwise you have to open JMARS and then load the session file. So I want to create that and I'm going to press next. Then it's going to download those files. The next box is going to ask you how often you want to check for updates. If you click this, it'll give you a couple options. If you click never, you'll have to check for updates manually. So I'm going to click never so I can show you how to update. Press next. If you want a desktop item and you want to run JMARS right away, click those boxes and press finish. Here you're going to enter your email or your username and your password that you set up from the website. I'm just going to press login as guest for now so I can log straight in. But if you sign in as a guest, you don't get the full capabilities that JMARS offers. So I would suggest just entering your username and password. Once JMARS has opened, you can play around with it. Um, a few things I want to show you is if you go up to body, this is where you can select different bodies. So right now I'm on Mars. I want to go to Earth. Just click Earth and it'll bring me to Earth. There's a few things you should know about the new version of JMARS. The first thing is if you load layers into your layer manager and you switch bodies, these layers will be temporarily saved. If you exit out of JMARS, then these layers will erase and when you open JMARS again, it'll be refreshed. If you load several layers on several bodies and you decide you want to start over and you don't want to exit JMARS, you can actually just go up to reset layers and it'll reset your default JMARS. Another thing is when you save a session, you are saving sessions on every body. So for instance, if I load a couple layers on J-Earth and then I go to J-Mars and I load a couple more layers and I save a session, the layers on both of my bodies will be saved. Whichever body you exit J-Mars on is going to be the body that J-Mars opens to the next time. So I have Earth on right now. If I close out JMARS and reopen it, Earth will be my default. 
The last thing I want to show you is how to update your version of JMARS. So in the beginning, if you remember, we clicked never. If you click never, you have to update JMARS manually. And the way you do that is going to help and check for updates and you'll click this button. And then JMARS will do a check to see if there's any available updates out there. And it says I'm using the latest version, so I press finish. Okay, well that's it. I hope you enjoy the new JMARS.